is uh, Pamit Bajwa. I will be giving a, a little brief overview about my life, a timeline. I just want to start with a background about my family. Uh, my grandparents were actually, we are Sikh, a religion. They were actually originally from uh, Pakistan, but they had to uh, move to India after the partition in 1947 when India became independent. So uh, after that, uh, that was just the background of my family. I was born in uh, Chandigarh, Punjab. Uh, the weird, uh, one of the facts about, like my mom told me I was the only male child born that weekend. So I just want to give some weird facts about that. I was born when uh, there was a festival of lights going on. So that's, I guess, some of the Other thing is, uh, we have a village in India. We still go every year. We have a farm, we have animals, all that stuff. Uh, I learned to ride my bike and tractors there when I was really young. And as I said before, I'm a sick. We wear turbans. I used to have long hair, but I had to cut it down. Because uh, when I was in India, it was real hot, and I had to drive my bike to school. And it was really hot. I used to have like, really bad headaches. So I cut my hair down. And uh, I sometimes wear a turban now. I'm starting to learn because uh, I'm getting older. I'm not real there yet, but I'm getting better at it. Uh, so we, I was there uh, in India until 97, so since we moved to U.S. in 97. Uh, we moved to Fremont first with my family. Uh, and we moved a lot uh, at first. We from Fremont to Santa Clara to Sacramento, then back to Fremont. Uh, I went to high school in Fremont. Uh, after high school, uh, I, didn't decide, I didn't decide to go to uh, college. I just went to, we had a liquor store. I started working there for about six to seven years. I managed a liquor store. But then a bed will open up next door. So we have to sell a business. And after that, I decided to go back to college. So I went to uh, De Anza College. And I wanted to do uh, business at first. But uh, my brother was also doing business. But I always wanted to do something with media, audio, media production. So I focused on media part and transferred to uh, Samska State after doing my two years at De Anza. And I'm still going here in Samska State, being back on major. I got one more semester left. Other uh, interesting thing is I got married last year in India. Uh, I met this girl like four years ago. I used to go to India every year. So things kind of, you know, progress from there. So I got married in India. I had to do it in one week. It was really hot in August. And there was no AC in the temple when we were doing the whole thing. It was like 120 over there. And I had to wear this big turban and really like synthetic cotton suit. It was really bad. Uh, other than that, uh, my wife, the uh, other thing was my wife, uh, she just got a visa. She was supposed to be interviewed on June 11th and be here after June 11th for her after interview in the U.S. Embassy in India. But uh, we went to the, the local senator for some reason because my brother's, brother's wedding was two weeks ago. So we wanted her to be there too. So we went to the local senator, uh, Mark Honda, I think that's his name is, and we appealed. And for some, I don't know how he did it, but... He got an emergency visa for his wife. So my wife got here just one day before my brother's wedding. And other than that, uh, she has done an MSc in, in, in organic chemistry in India, and she wants to do a PhD here. And what else? Taking some classes for last semester. Hopefully I have to get my degree, I could out. I want to work either here or in India it doesn't really matter if I get a job there. Because I also have a dual citizenship. I'm only one in the family, so because we can sell and buy land in India. I can't if I'm, if I'm not a citizen of India. So. One more minute. <laughs> one minute. Okay. What was it like growing up in India? Uh, I don't really, really remember that much. I was really young. I was like 10, 11 when we moved out here. But I remember living in, uh, we went to convent school. It was a pretty big city, Chandigarh. We used to, uh, every summer we used to go to a uh, village. We had a lot of uh, animals, so I did a lot of farming with my father. He taught me a lot, and I still go there and do farming a lot. And uh, what else? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. My name is. I don't want to start the whole thing again. Uh, oh, I think uh, our village is right by the border, by Pakistan and India, because that's where they give them, because uh, we uh, moved from uh, Pakistan and India. So you can hear like a shell firing sometime at night, and when they ever do that, they just tell you to just uh, like turn off all the power at night, so they don't know where the target is. So you can just hear like 
Shell's going through it sometimes. Now it's much better. Not like before when I was there and younger. And you can see the bullets, like like the ricochets a little bit. But it's much better now. So. You're good.